Hi, hello, welcome to VHL Basics. Today we are going to discuss about most frequently asked interview question in VLS design. What what type of reset we need to use? Synchronous reset or asynchronous reset? For this question, we need to answer like this. We need to use asynchronous assertion and synchronous deassertion for the reset signal. Now I am going to design that asynchronous assertions and synchronous deassertions in the Verilog code. Now we can discuss about uh, advantage of this one. Asynchronous assertions. The reset signal is immediately asserted when the asynchronous reset input goes low, which ensures that circuit is reset regardless of the clock state. This can be helpful when the circuit is in an uh, unknown state or when there is a power on reset. Synchronous deassertance. The reset signal deasserted synchronously on the rising edge of the clock, which ensures that the circuit is not reset in the middle of the clock. This can help you to prevent glitches or unintended behavior in the circuit. Improved timing analysis. By using a synchronous reset deassertion, the timing analysis of the design is simplified because the reset signal is only deasserted at the rising edge of the clock. This reduces the possibility of timing violation and make it easier to meet the timing constraint. Reduced area and power. Yeah, as a yes, synchronous reset deassertion can reduce the area and power consumption of the design because it eliminates the need of additional circuitry to synchronize the reset with the clock. Overall, using a reset signal with asynchronous assertion and synchronous deassertion in design can help to ensure the reliable and predictable behavior of the circuit during the reset and reduce the complexity and cost of the design. If you see here in the code there are two inputs clock and reset and output will be registered reset okay reset 10 out actually. So here if you see rising edge of the clock or negage of the reset. So here if you are giving negage of uh, reset means the reset is asynchronous. Okay. So with respect to this asynchronous uh, uh, behavior of the reset, it will be asserted asynchronously and it will be released. It will be deasserted at the rising edge of the clock. So this reset n underscore out should be your overall design reset so that we can avoid unwanted glitches and uh, we can meet the timing easily. We already discussed about the advantage of this particular circuitry of this particular design. Now I am going to simulate this one and I will explain with the waveform. This is the reset synchronizer uh, test bench where I am generating the clock at 50 megahertz and I am toggling the reset uh, in, in inside the initial block and I am instantiating that re reset synchronizer here. Now, I am going to explain in the waveform. If you see here, this is clock, this is reset n, which is coming out of our design. Maybe this may be the push button. So we can't use the push button reset uh, directly to our design. So uh, synchronous assertion and synchronous deassertion in the re for the reset signal. Okay. If you see here. When it is going low, the reset out also going out immediately, irrespective of the clock, which means the reset assertance is asynchronously happening. 
when reset is going high it is going high at rising edge of the clock so it is deserted synchronously so we can avoid unwanted glitches in our circuitry and we can predict our uh, design uh, states everything we can uh, able to uh, predict it as per our design actually or else you will see unwanted uh, state or un, uh, unpredictable behavior of our design this is how we need to answer that question hope this will help you in the interview thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe this video subscribe this channel for more videos